so I'm finally going to review a mask that's been requested for ages. It's the Scott M95. Now I want to say as I start this review, I'm not actually sure if this is the proper M95 because um, it doesn't have that sort of flap with the drinking tube bit there. Uh, this bit looks a bit different from what I've seen on some M95, so I think it might be like where they've you know done variants of it. You know, a bit like how the CT12 is the FM12 without the drinking tube. I wonder if there's kind of an M95 variant like that. I was looking online and every picture I could see of this type was still called M95s. So, who knows. But, here we go. So I'm going to call it the Scott M95 in the review, but don't get anal with me if it turns out it's actually the Scott and then it has a different number. Or, you know, it's the N95 or something like that. Anyway, so Scott M95s. Um, as I've already reviewed the M98, which I really like, it's quite a similar mask to that. The main real difference between the two is this has basically two eyepieces rather than the panoramic lens. This also, as far as I can tell, unfortunately, does not have a voice diaphragm. Now, it looks like in that sort of grill there, there might be sort of somewhat of a voice diaphragm. But what I'm going to say is it's not going to project your voice as clearly as the M98, which has got a giant big one at the front on, under a grill. So, um... There's that. No drinking tube on this particular variant. On the M95 is the drinking tube, there'll be the rubber flap here. And then you open that and then it has the canteen hole there. So that's the inside of it. Uh, that's the outside. I got this from Commando store uh, in the US, so I had to pay tax and import duties and all that. Um, but it did come and it came like after a week or two of ordering it, which wasn't too bad at all. So I know I'm going to like this mask. This is apparently old police stock, but it looks pretty much brand new. So I don't know if they sanitised it themselves when they got it. But there's no real scuffs or anything on this model. So anyway, um, I'll put it on and then we'll briefly talk about it, if you can hear me. So yeah, there we go, it's fairly comfortable. As I said, I'm used to the M98, so I know what this is like. Pretty good field of view, I guess, because of how wide those lenses are. So you just get a little bit of ghosting in the middle, as usual, and a pretty good field of view. But from wearing this, it pretty much seems like, you know, an M98 without the panoramic lens. So for most people, I think the M98 would be better. Especially as it's easier to get the M98 now, because it comes under all the variants, like the Pro Mask and whatever else. So yeah, the history of this mask was that Finland, I think, was the first company to uh, country, sorry, to adopt it for the military. I don't know if it was designed in conjunction with Finland or Finland just basically put the first order in for it. But I think there's Camera or whatever they're called um, variants of this. I know my uh, M98 was actually made in Finland by Camera rather than Scott. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a good mask for all the people saying would it protect me from coronavirus? Yes. Also an interesting note is I've got a Polish MP6 filter on this today. So, if you're familiar with the MP5, B-Store sent me some of these, which is the FP6, which is apparently the later variant. So this particular one was from 1313, oh sorry, 2013 it was produced, lasts until 2028, so it's got um, a 15-year shelf life on it, so that's pretty impressive. Um, underneath it looks a bit different than the, um, not very different, it looks externally a lot like the FP5. But if you look in the bottom and the top you can tell it is ever so slightly different. I think I'll do a video at one point cutting them open and see, <coughs> sorry, I apologise, seeing what's inside. Um, but yeah, seems like it's a good enough filter. Um, I don't know if he's got any of these for sale at the moment, or if it's just, you know, sending me some just to have a look at, but... There we go, but for the Scott M98, yes, it will protect you from Corona, NCOV, COVID, whatever else. It's a proper military mask made from a very comfortable rubber. So it's got that kind of rubber on it, um, you know, where uh, it's soft and comfortable, but it would actually be pretty effective against chemicals. If you want to see the face seal, it's like that. The only bit for me that's not that comfortable is it digs in a bit to my sort of bottom lip. Now, if I look inside... I'm assuming it's just that this sort of bit here with the um, sort of chin seal goes up a bit too high so it's kind of going into there rather than there. Again it might be this isn't the optimal size for me but otherwise it's very good. Um, as I said I prefer the M98 just because that seems like all the good bits of this but with a panoramic lens and a bigger voice diaphragm. But yeah if you can still get these for a reasonable price they are very good masks um, and yeah I'd recommend it.